Coming up next is wrestling news number 72, and it's an LTNA update with stories on the European tour and the trials and tribulations some of the wrestlers have had on that, including Ric Flair and Kurt Angle, the problems he's had at home while he was on the tour with his soon-to-be wife. Uh, Sid Vicious, a.k.a. Sid Uli, got busted for pot. Diva Mania is running wild all through professional wrestling. Uh, Alex Shelley is a broken collarbone. Kimbo Slice is going to be doing some pro wrestling. And Lindsay Hayward, a.k.a. Isis the Amazon. All that and more coming up in 60 seconds. And the Hero of the Month this month at Alternate Reality is IDW's Infestation Event, which covers four universes, Star Trek, Transformers, G.I. Joe, and Ghostbusters. And all of my trade paperbacks for all four of those universes are 25% off all month long. All my hardcovers, all my softcovers, all my omnibuses, everything related to those four universes is 25% off all month long. So stop on down to the store and take a zombie-sized bite out of some savings here at Alternate Reality. Two guys who take wrestling seriously, and the least we can do is pity them and watch this. Here's Bo and Uncle Peter. Cool. What is there, an echo in here? <laughs> wrestling News, Episode 72, The Juice of One Piano. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guess who? What just when you thought you'd never see this face ever again because I was lost in the interstate highways of this country doing my trucking thing, it is I, Uncle Peter, come back to you. And we're here Welcome for... Back. Thank Tales, you, thank Tales you. Tales from the Road. Tales from the Road. No, not Tales from the Road. That's a different spot. We're doing Tales from... TNA wrestling news and because we're doing that I can't uh, I can't do none of this by myself so I brought in the professor the great Swami Bo how you doing Oh uh, Cephas What's happening? We are of course doing this where we always have they always have and I do it once in a while Alternate Reality Incorporated, that comic book mega store next to the corner of 111th and Kedzie in the bu bucolic, beautiful, scenic neighborhood of Mount Greenwood here in the city of Chicago. Alternate Reality Incorporated, where all your new comic books are still 15% off. I'm gone forever. They're still 15% off. Life goes on. It's great to see that some things never, never change. change. Like Kurt Angle and Pregnant Girlfriends. Oh, no. Which kicks into our first story. This one, though scary, had a happy ending. Kurt Angle was on the TNA European tour. He got a phone call saying his pregnant fiance, who was apparently an actress, yes. she was rushed to the hospital with extremely high blood pressure and she passed out. Uh, she had to be induced into premature labor. She gave birth to Giulani. Giulana. Marie Angle. She's 5.5, 18 inches long. She and mom are recovering in the hospital right now. Next, if you can wander around cyberspace, there's a picture of Kurt holding his little tiny baby. Five, five and a half pounds, 18 That's inches. Small. He's holding her in the one hand is what he's That's doing. Small. Anyway, uh, we're happy it all worked out. Our best to the mom and the baby. And Kurt, uh, congratulations, man. Uh, moving right along to other champions in TNA European tours. This one... Not quite such a happy ending. Ric Flair was along on the European tour. In fact, Woo! The fact the tour was named after Ric Flair. Oh. Uh, while in Ireland... Just feed that ego. Yeah, on Which Island, brings into stuff like this. It's pretty sad. Ric asked for a cash advance because his credit cards were maxed out because he bought rounds for all the boys in the bar the night before. The TV people said, we're not going to give you the money. Rick had a little fit and he refused to get on the bus to take them to Germany. And so they left him behind. <laughs> uh, the, he did rejoin the tour in Scotland there are people in TNA who are looking at Rick and they're going okay we, it's nice that you're living your gimmick but you're at the point now where you're becoming an embarrassment to yourself and everyone around Rick, you Rick if you're going to live this lifestyle if you're going to be that high flying wheeling dealing kiss stealing uh, all around 24 hour man all night long you gotta have the money you gotta have the money you can't hit up your fellow wrestlers quit while you're getting on the divorced road. You, you know, can't afford them. You're bumming money off all the wrestlers. It ain't this right, were, this one was really sad. The, the man is still going down as one of the greatest wrestlers of them all. But he's embarrassing. But it's sad, man. It's really sad. And in other stories of champions, former champions behaving badly, this one, if this comes as a surprise to you, you just started following wrestling like 15 minutes ago. 
Former WWE champion Sid Uni, Sid Vicious, Sid Vicious, Psycho Sid, Sid Justice. He was Sid Justice. He was recently arrested in South Memphis for not wearing a seatbelt. Now, when the cops stopped him and noticed he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, they wait for he it. Had Eighteen grams of marijuana sitting in the seat next to him. So they said, "Hi, sir. Sid, Would you like to follow us to the Sid, local precinct?" Sid hauled in on a pot bust. Ironically, it was locked in. The, the odds makers right. take a beating. What? What's the chance and, of that well, happening? I don't know. It was pretty bad. He oh, was released God. on a thousand dollars bond. But Sid, if you're gonna smoke a doobie, put it in your trunk. Hide it. Put it in the glove Hide department. Hide it. He had it sitting in the seat next People to him. People ain't taking weed that seriously God. anymore. In Memphis, you know, I don't know. Maybe. In Texas, maybe. Texas, oh maybe. Lord, Sid. What a surprise. Uh, <laughs> what do you say? Hey, don't smoke Let, let's put that aside. That's too stupid. And go right on to the babes. Uh, the Diva Mania Tour specifically. We talked to you in our last segment with uh, with Little Jinx, uh, otherwise known as Sarah, about the Diva Mania Tour, which will involve former WWE Divas Maria, Jillian Hall, and Tiffany. Now we know what Diva Mania, Diva Mania really is. Those three lovely ladies will be going to bars and clubs all over the country, and they will be signing autographs and hanging out with the fans. What, what could possibly be going the, wrong there? Yeah, what could possibly, what go could possibly be go, going wrong, wrong with there? Hanging around yeah, loaded. Oh, God. Well, I, well, I would, nine times out of ten, I would imagine that what they'll do is they'll probably go up to the D, DJ booth and they'll work up in the DJ booth. Yeah. And, hey, if they need security... They could uh, always call on the subject of our next little story. And, oh, God, am I glad I'm back. <laughs> I, I got this story just because he was... No, 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 no. I got to finish this. Lindsay Hayward, the, the very object of my lust. I love this woman. Six foot nine. You knew her as Aloysius. She's got herself a new gig. Take it while I can still talk. I'm all verklempt. She oh, was, uh, she was with the WWE for about a week. She was seen in the promos for the All Diva season of uh, yes. WNXT, and then she got cut. She signed a contract with Lucha Libre USA. She will be used on the, um, with that little programming as ISIS the Amazon which, and Lucha Libre USA, which in and of itself, on MTV too, which in and so of itself, which of itself is hysterical because when you think Lucha Libre, you think about little wrestlers flying around doing aerials, not six foot nine Amazonians. You don't think about six foot nine women with really really big fake boobs. I thought Lucha Libre was free milk. Ice, is. ISIS the Amazon. We are about to be culturally offensive on two continents, but God, I'm so happy. Oh, I love that it's woman. A whole lot of I love her, I love her, I love her. Uh, let's go to somewhere else while, I, while I'm still coherent. Get together. I'm going to get myself together. In MASH news, Alex Shelley, broken collarbone at a house show in Hagerstown, Maryland. Broken collarbone means you're out for about three months. So the motor shooting machine guns won't be doing any tank. They're going to be on the shelf for a little soon. while. They can do something with Chris Saban because he was a solo before they got yes. the guns together, but the two of them together were really, really As cool. a tag team, that's just so they cool. That's a great name for a tag team. The Motor City motor motor Machine, machine guns. guns from Detroit, Michigan. The Motor City <laughs> Machine Guns. Kids, don't follow Uncle Peter. Don't slip on words. You'll get yourself in trouble. Yes. Uh, finally, wrapping this up with a very bizarre story. Well, it's not that it's bizarre. Not so. Just who it involves. Kimbo Slice. Hey, well, He's going to make his pro wrestling debut Whoa. on February the 5th for Antonio Inoki's IGF promotion in Japan. There are also rumors that maybe he will be around in the WWE hanging out for WrestleMania, although the WWE said that's not likely going to happen. Nah. See... You get to the WWE, you actually have to be able to work. Yes. And Kimbo has shown he's can't fight. He can so, learn. I heard he well, he can learn. He's going to wrestle Rodan. He's, yeah, he's, wrestling Rodan. he's going to wrestle Rodan with the winner to take on Godzilla. 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 I, I pay that a yeah, that's, that's certainly worth the buck. Uh, one thing, not worth a buck, this whole newscast. Uh, not, but we brought it to you that. anyway for free out of the goodness of his, our heart. Free? Free. What? Free. Uh, okay. Free. Anyway, uh, because it's free, you got your money's worth. I don't want to hear a complaint. We're working our way to heaven. Not a one. You got to see me stumble over my words <laughs> and just absolutely go into a kernel drooling on camera. Put you back on the road. Right there. I'm going back to work now. Anyway, 
But for the rest of it, you want to see uh, WWE news, wrestling news, fight news, media news, comic book news, All anything this this guy can bring to you because he works so I hard. I for hours on this stuff. His middle name is Dillinger. You go to our Ow. stop on the internet, internet on the on the internet superhighway, the, the information superhighway. I got real superhighways on the brain, honk honk. Uh, where what's her what's her name? Sarah. No, what'd you just call her? Sarah. Jinx? Oh, little Jinx. Little, little Jinx. Jinx. I kind of like that. I call her a Sprite. But Jinx little works. Jinx. She's over there. She's going to tell you where to go to find all that stuff. www.myalternatereality.com And no, you won't have to disinfect your hard drive. So go there, check it out. And uh, I'm so glad to be back, albeit we'll perhaps back, briefly. Uh, don't know when so I'll far? be back, but really? it was fun talking to you. Again, Uncle Peter... Bo. Bo, here at the uh, Alternate Reality Comic Book uh, Video Outhouse. See ya! Alternate Reality is located at 3149 West 111th Street. That's the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in Chicago, the beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood neighborhood. You can always reach us at 773-881-HERO or at the store's website, www.myalternatereality.com. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.